then to our surprise, you know, as soon as we produced 20, we got an order for 200. So tell me now, once we have an order for 200, will my old top, which is made out of hand lay process work for me? It will not. So I'll have to think of innovative ways of manufacturing the top again. Luckily, the stainless steel fabrication was anyway high quality CNC production. So it had all the components which you could produce through CNC manufacturing. So that was, you know, still there. So we went ahead back in our journey, went back to concept again. And then we tried a number of options. Remember, I was always telling you, you need to have at least three options before you decide what type of process to use. Can you see that white top? What do you think the material is there in that uh, box which you see on the slide? The bottom is steel on the top. It was supposed to be plastic, but then I had to produce 200 numbers. So I said, can I try aluminum casting? So this is the aluminum casting top. We tried an aluminum casting too, because now I had to produce you know, like uh, 200 numbers and casting is a very good process to produce 200 numbers. It's again, batch production, very convenient. We tried this and we found it very expensive. We also found it very heavy. So we didn't uh, go ahead with this idea. Then we said, uh, this is the sand casting process where you make a mold and then you pour molten aluminum and then you get your, uh, you know, one piece uh, top. And then we said, let me try uh, a next technique of low cost tooling called vacuum thermoforming. So what is this process? You have a sheet of plastic, you heat it to the you know temperatures where it becomes like a cloth and you wrap it around the mold by vacuum. So you have the surface and you suck the air out of the surface, it sticks to the surface of the die and that is how the uh, forming is done. In the cavity also you suck it adheres to the cavity and you get this tray which is available. So we use the same technique to make the next level. So in this process, we had to go and get the raw material also. Luckily, we were you know, uh, happy that GE Plastics collaborated. So we got this uh, you know, granules. The plastic is made in the form of granules and we made sheet out of those granules by extrusion. What is the extrusion process? You heat the granules and you extrude out of a thin slit and you get these slabs of plastic. So we extruded the sheet. Why do you need to extrude the sheet? Because nobody has this red color. We had to get the granules, we had to extrude the sheet uh, on our own. And then we made these dies, the three part die. And finally, you cut all the parts together and we joined it using the best adhesives from Huntsman manufacturer adhesives who makes it really, you know, stronger than the virgin material. Today, adhesives are very, very high tech. You have very, very good adhesives in the market, which are as good as the original material. And then we have now the composite to thermoforming top. Lightweight, you know, formed out of three parts. This is one part, this is the front part, and this is the flap which goes in. And this, uh, again, uh, was very, very mass manufacturable to a level of 200 numbers. So we, you know, using the cost, again, see the whole business, when you come to large volumes, like 200 numbers, is cost what type of tooling cost and what type of production cost. And because we are working with the government, it was very difficult for us to convince that please give me an upfront tooling cost and then give me the production cost. They can't do that. So they, they said, no, no, we, you, you said that the post, post box is going to cost 8,000 rupees. We can't give you more than that. So we have to work out innovative ways of pilot production of how we went ahead with making the, the top. You can see one of the boxes putting the top. So here we have the tops ready. Then we made all the drawings ready. You can see how engineering drawings are made with all the details. And you know, this is the assembly drawing. This is the drawing of the base. You see the small indentations to make the stainless steel very strong. And you know, how the whole uh, situation was uh, taken forward. And then how the fabrication was, uh, drawing was, uh, you know, made. And remember I was talking about embossing on the post box to make it very strong. So we reduced the cost by 3000 rupees by reducing the thickness of the stainless steel. So what we did was we used, you know, this work hardening property by doing constant bending. The stainless steel edge, the corner, which was the most important, became very strong. And we reduced the thickness of the stainless steel sheet from 1.6 millimeters to 1.2 millimeters and saved around three kilos of stainless steel. We have these embossings, which makes the surface very strong. So we use the embossing, we use the bending and made the product, you know, very, very strong. So from these then, you know, we went ahead and we, you know, went for pilot production.